Hey guys, it is me, Panto6, with another episode of Let's Talk. And today, I want to talk about something that has nothing to do with depression, anxiety, or my health. For once. I know, it's awesome, huh? Um, Because I figured, you guys might be tired of hearing about that right now. And plus, I have other things on my mind that's kind of bugging me a lot lately. Um, And it is affecting my health, but we won't talk about the health aspect. And that is um, job opportunities. (laughs) Well, right now, um, I'm unemployed. You guys know that. Um, I'm collecting unemployment, so I'm still getting money in. So that's a good thing. Um, the only bad thing is, uh, it runs out in January, which I should hopefully be able to find a job by then. But if you also look at my Indeed, Monster, Ohio means jobs, um, just, and going into random places applying for jobs, um, you'd probably be amazed at how many places I've applied for. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. And where I live there's really hardly like jobs are really hard to come by um you know we have hospitals um schools bars restaurants but none of these places really hire um especially for stuff that i'm actually i have a lot of experience in now uh i have i am about six classes away from getting my bachelor's degree in graphic design um my experience with graphic design, I've done graphic design stuff since I was a freshman in high school. Now, I got my, let myself get a little bit rusty there for a while, but um, I find myself a whole lot better. I, I know how, how to work with Photoshop really, really well. Um, I used to be awesome at Flash. Um, if you put me in front of Flash right now, it would take me a while to get back to where I used to be because I used to... Um, make training modules for uh, Marathon Petroleum as an intern and um, <clears throat> that's a lot of my college career has been that which I can't really finish college due, just due to the fact that you know, I have to pay back loans and I can't really pull loans out so uh, as a rule of thumb if you are a student try your hardest to stay on track with your classes uh, try not to veer off the path, and if you have a counselor that has get put you on on one path, try to get as many as many opinions as you can, um, because you can really fuck yourself royally. Um, but I've applied for numerous jobs, and I have a I think I have a really good uh, resume. Um, Even though I don't have a degree, I have enough credits to my, I might as well, I think I have like 250 some, uh, credits, um, that's between three different universities that I've attended to, and the place, like, places around here, they don't like to work around school schedules, so you're kind of limited on that, but, I don't know, um, it, it is kind of get disheartening. Um, the only thing around here is call center jobs. And I worked at a call center. And it stressed me out. And that's probably one of the reasons why I lost my job there. Because of stress. And I can't really handle that. And I've tried. Uh, if I have to, I will do it again. Uh, to make ends meet. But where I'm getting to... I was offered a long time ago, it was probably like two years ago, an opportunity to move out of state to Illinois. Now, me and my fiance, we've talked about this several times and we wasn't ready to commit. This is even before we got engaged. We wasn't ready to commit to move out of state because um, we have a lot of friends and family and just things here that we love dearly. But there comes a time when 
you have to think about yourself in the long run. Think about the future. And I think that's coming now. Now, me and my fiance has been talking about it. Um, and actually, um, we have been looking. We were actually looking at going and moving to a little place called Martinsville, Illinois. Illinois. Uh, currently, I live in Ohio, a little town called Ironton. And I believe that's about nine hours away. And doing so, I'm not going to throw my friends away and my family. I'm still going to stay in contact with these people. But up until now, it's just been really, really hard to make that step. And I'm thinking at this point in my life, I have to do what I got to do, I think. Um, Now, I don't know what that's going to mean for my YouTube channel, uh, my Twitch, um, anything like that. I don't think that's going to change because I'm still going to do videos. I'm still going to, you know, talk and, you know, have fun with you guys. And for those who sit here and watch me talk and ramble for about, you know, eight or nine minutes um, every week on Let's Talk or, you know, 10, 15 minutes on the game feed or what or goblin traders yeah i'm very very thankful for that and i really really hope that maybe in the future um this will grow maybe there'll be new opportunities for me in this and you know that's every every youtuber's dream um every person that makes uh, video content that's everyone's dream is to um get enough of a following to support yourself and uh, yada 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 if you go to anybody's YouTube channel that's starting out um, you'll see that and I'm no different than anybody else I want to be different, I do I want to share my story with you guys I want to make sure you guys have um, something uh, to be interested in Um, I was told the other day my a uh, new episode of the game feed. I had a friend who really, really, really liked it. He thought it was great. And I had some people who really like it. And, you know, that's good. I'm, I'm happy for that. Um, I would like to see it grow. Um, likes, subscribes. Just, you know, that that helps. That helps a lot. And I, like I said, for, any, for anybody that sits there and clicks on a video, even if you're there for like a second, you're like, eh. I don't want to listen to this fat neck beard talk. Well, thank you for at least considering looking at my video. I, 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 I enjoyed that. Um, but I think at this point, me and my fiance, we're going to go ahead and consider leaving this place. There's no jobs here. There's no future. Um... I've got really good friends, and I'm going to stay in touch. I'm going, I'm still going to try to come over here on, you know, the weekends. Uh, every weekend, I get a chance to come see my friends as the Goblin Traders, come see my family, come see my friends. Um, you know, I want to do that. <laughs> and I, if if you're watching this, um, don't think that this is a goodbye. This isn't. You know, this might not happen, but it could, very well could. And when that day comes. I'll have a special video out for that. And um, I just want to let you guys know what the possibility of that is. And that's, it can happen. It can very well happen. I don't know if it will happen at the end of this month or the end of November. But we're really, really considering it. And I think it's going to be really beneficial for me and Nikki, uh, or Nikki and I as a whole. And everybody I've talked to family, friends, um, they're all very supportive, they all say the same thing, you have to go, you know, where there's jobs and where there's a future, and there's a future there, there's definitely a future in this, um, going out of state, because, let's, let's be honest here, Southern Ohio, uh, (laughs) Ashland, Kentucky, and Huntington, there's no future. There's no future here. It's it's a dead town. So I mean, if you want to be work as a at a call center, or I don't know, 
do drugs or something, yeah, you can do that. I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I, I want to do something I love. Um, I want to do something that's not going to stress me out. I want to know there's a going to be um, a steady source of money. Um, and I want to know, I want to make sure that I have a room to grow and move forward, um, get better things, move up in the company and make sure, uh, Nikki is very, very happy because we're getting married next year. One way or the other is happening. So and I want to make sure I'm going to be the best husband I could possibly be because I think she deserves the whole world and that's what I want to do is give it to her so but uh, guys thank you so much for checking this out um, if you're going to take a break from the health updates and stress stuff that's still going on but just want to talk about something a little bit different but you guys have a great day I'm still driving you would think that I would stop driving but I'm still driving everywhere but anyways, guys, have a great day. Again, my name is Panto6. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And I love you guys very, very, very much.